Have you ever wondered why some people get Crohn's or colitis and others don't? The answer isn't simple and it's not just about genes or diet. The real cause of IBD is still a mystery, but doctors have uncovered some key risk factors that can tip the odds. Now, family history is a biggie. If your IBD runs in your family, your risk goes up, but it doesn't guarantee you get it. Most people are diagnosed before 30, with Crohn's peaking between 15 to 40 and colitis between 20 to 40 years of age. Now, colitis is a bit more common in men, while Crohn's significantly favours women, so gender does seem to play a role. Now, when you were looking at ethnicity, Jewish people are at a higher risk, while IBD is less common in Hispanic and black populations compared to white populations. And if we're looking globally, or where you live, IBD is more common in North America and Europe. Now, there are other triggers like smoking, certain infections, antibiotics, oral contraceptives, a Western diet, and even stress having all been linked to a higher risk. Now, having these risk factors doesn't mean you'll definitely get IBD. They just raise the odds. Anyone can develop it even without any risk factors.